everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special car, a special car to my heart because I uh, had a couple of 5 Series in my life and I was quite happy with them. Today I have the F10 BMW 5 Series with a 3 liter diesel engine, just a normal 3 liter diesel engine and I have to tell you that I'm quite impressed by it. The exterior of the BMW 5 Series is a stunning testament to both form and function. A harmonious blend of elegance, athleticism and aerodynamic design. Every curve and contour has been meticulously crafted to create a visual masterpiece that not only turns heads but also enhances the car's performance. The F10 M Sport boasts a sculpted and sleek body that exudes confidence and athleticism. Its proportions are perfectly balanced with a long graceful hood that hints at the power within and a well-defined waistline that accentuates its sporty character. The front end of the BMW F10 M Sport is a sight to behold, combining style and functionality effortlessly. The iconic kidney grille steals the show, flanked by sharp LED headlights for excellent visibility. The front bumper is more aggressive featuring larger air intakes that not only look sporty but also aid in cooling the engine. Sculpted lines and aerodynamic elements add to the bumper's appeal. In the front bumper we also find the parking sensors and the fog lights, which not only helps with the visibility but also improves the general aspect of the car. The most interesting part of this car is this. This is the 3 liter diesel engine that produces 255 horsepower, 560 newton meters, goes from 0 to 60 in just 6 seconds and also manages to have a very decent fuel consumption of around 60 miles per gallon outside town. Well, I have to tell you that I'm quite impressed, but I'm not just impressed by the numbers. I'm impressed by how quiet this engine is and, well, Honestly, it's one of the most reliable engines that BMW has. Of course, you need to know one thing. You need to change the timing chain. A lot of people are saying, ah, oh, you don't need to change it or uh, things like that, but you need to, because, well, they fail. One thing that you can actually do to help your engine is to do regular oil services, not at 30,000 miles, not at 20,000 miles, but at around 10 or 15,000 miles. And then you can prevent, well, catastrophes. And I have to tell you that uh, when I owned BMWs, I always changed the oil regularly. I didn't care about uh, what specialists are saying or about uh, some engineers. I just care that and I really know that and I really encourage you to, if you want your engine to be healthy, just change the oil and the filters as regularly as you can. Don't wait too much because, well, after that you're going to have a lot of headaches and you will be sorry. So this is the proper engine to buy for this car. The side profile of the BMW F10 M Sport is a testament to its dynamic character and sophisticated design. Long and gracefully sculpted, it exudes an aura of performance and luxury. A distinctive shoulder line runs from the front fender to the rear, creating a sense of forward motion. The carefully designed proportions and contours gives the car a balanced and aerodynamic appearance. The 18-inch alloy wheels enhance the car's visual appeal while improving handling and grip. The elongated silhouette hints at the car's powerful engine and contributes to its commanding presence on the road, making it a true symbol of automotive excellence. The rear end of the BMW F10 M Sport is a captivating blend of sportiness and sophistication. LED tail lights mirror the modern design of the front lights, adding a touch of contemporary style. The rear bumper, unique to the M Sport package, stands out with its sportier aesthetics featuring a distinctive diffuser that emphasizes the car's performance-orientated nature. In summary, the rear design perfectly complements the car's overall image, combining sporty elements with a touch of elegance. So I got this car from my friends at CarZet. CarZet are a specialized second-hand car dealership located in Ipswich. All the cars come with six months REC warranty, which is extendable up to three years. If you have a low credit score, they can help you with finance. If you want your car to be part exchanged, well, CarZet can provide part exchange with your car. Also, if you want your car delivered all the way across UK, 
well, they can provide that as well. So check them out at carzet.co.uk. Let's discuss about the interior of the 5 Series. First of all, it's a very nice place to be in. You have leather seats, you have premium materials that gives you a very special feeling inside here. Now, let's discuss about the seats. These are sports seats and they are very comfortable. They hug you in all the right places. They are heated and they are just half electrically powered because, well, that's what you have. The dashboard layout is very beautiful and it has this nice pattern over here that gives the car a very sporty and dynamic feel. By having these elements in this beautiful pattern somehow improves the cabin by giving it a sense of spaciousness. Now regarding space, this is a very practical car. You have a lot of legroom, you have a lot of headroom and also provides shelter for five adults which is quite quite good regarding the materials well bmw used high quality materials always and they want to provide a perfect feeling while you are driving their cars first of all the steering wheel is very bolstered and feels very sporty now this steering wheel it's also fitted on the m5 the gear shifter looks quite elegant and you can notice this even on all the models but i do like it it's very elegant and looks quite good this car has adaptive dampers and you can select how the suspension is from these buttons over here Right here we have two decent sized cup holders and also a support to place your key. This car has start stop and of course you need to place your key somewhere so you might not lose it. Right here also we have an ashtray and well the armrest of course is covered in leather and inside the armrest you have an auxiliary plug and a jack plug and of course a place for your telephone because this car was equipped with a telephone. It's not here anymore but well it was at some point. From here you can control the infotainment system. Let's discuss about the infotainment system of this car. Well, first of all, let's go into the menu. You have multimedia, radio, telephone, navigation. You can connect your phone through Bluetooth. This car doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but well, you can connect your phone through Bluetooth. Let's go a little bit into the settings and into the setting you have instrument cluster display where you can adjust a couple of things that are shown in your display over here. You have vehicle information, everything you know about the car. You have, for example, trip computer, you have efficient dynamics, vehicle status to show you that you have, well, how many miles till service and things like that. The sat nav looks quite cool. I have to tell you that it's modern and well, uh, has a very nice look and provides a lot of details on it. In the settings area, we have a couple of features. For example, we have instrument cluster, control display. From here, you can adjust the brightness of the display, time and date languages, connections, sound, speed, climate, lights. From here, you can select one touch triple turn signal lights, and this is a quite nice feature. Daytime driving lights and welcome lights. If you go back, we have the Eco Pro mode, which this car actually shows you that you have a potential of going a very green with this car. I really don't like this in cars and I'm very eco-friendly, but I think they are just pointless. And well, software updates. In profiles, you can actually import a profile from USB. So the infotainment system, it's quite easy to use, very intuitive, you have a lot of options and um, you have Bluetooth, you have SatNav and well, the high quality sound system that this car hosts. And uh, I have to tell you that the dashboard layout is very, very intuitive and uh, all the buttons are where they supposed to be. For example, the climate controls, you have dual climate controls for you and your front passengers, and they are neatly placed right here, having some nice materials on them. On the door side, you have leather and the buttons for the window controls are very, very well built. And I have to tell you that BMW always try to provide high quality materials for their clients. Sitting right here in the back seats gives you a very, very comfortable ride. Right here we have an armrest which it holds two cup holders but you can make them go away if you press them like this and you can also make the armrest go away but what it's neat about the BMW's 
back seats is the fact that they are a little bit inclined and you do have a perfect sitting position back here as you can notice i have plenty of leg room and of course plenty of headroom and well i have to tell you that it's quite quite a nice place to be also the door sides are covered in this leather which gives the car a very elegant touch in the door pockets you have the ashtray and well overall back here there isn't much to do uh, you don't have any climate control you just have two air vents and some storage compartment but ah yeah you have plenty of storage compartment in the back seats area over here which you have this drawer that you can actually pull towards you but yes, overall, the rear seats of the BMW are very comfortable and you can sit three adults in here with ease. And well, you may head to Germany from here because the car can actually take you there. And I think it can take you anywhere and you can actually sit comfortably in the back seats of the 5 Series. Let's check out the boot of the 5 Series and I have to tell you that it's quite impressive. This car has 520 liters of cargo space but what's impressive it's the design of the boot because it's very wide and this means you can fit a lot of big stuff inside it and it's quite deep as well. So the boot size it's quite decent and well I have to tell you that it's a very very spacious car the trunk lid isn't power operated but you can get this electrically powered if you want this option and well also you can have it with soft close this one doesn't have soft close but it's pretty easy to close it it's time to drive the 5 series and i have to tell you that i'm quite impressed with this car first of all it is very elegant and feels very sporty at the same time it's a quite unique feeling this three liter diesel engine provides everything that you need in this car it's very powerful it's very torquey and of course it's torquey 560 newton meters <laughs> that's some stuff and of course the 255 horsepower engine well i have to tell you all the horses are in there and they are pulling you to the moon if you know what i'm saying regarding the comfort of the car by having adaptive dampers this car is very comfortable if you put the car on sport mode you can immediately notice that the uh, gearbox changes into sport mode it becomes very very sporty the sound of the engine is brilliant and also the suspension tides up now i like to drive this car right now on comfort mode because well i don't want to be shaked and um, wait i have to disengage the automatic start stop button or stop start button yes oh yeah it pulls it pulls very well the car is very nimble very sporty and it sits very very well on the road now first impression is that it's very quiet it's very comfortable i drove the jaguar a couple of weeks ago and the, i like the jaguar the jaguar was very elegant i think uh, in terms of elegance was a little bit more higher than this one but in sense of sportiness well this one is a better car the steering is very precise and very nimble and uh, even when you put the car on sport mode i had the idea or the I had the thinking that the steering is becoming more responsive then, but maybe it's just me, but I do actually feel that the steering will, uh, that the steering column reacts when you put this car on sport mode. In terms of reliability, this car is a very reliable car. If you do the services in time and you provide everything that you need to provide in this car, everything is gonna be great. Regarding costs, well, it's a three liter and uh, you're gonna have a high road tax. You're gonna have, well, a little bit of a high insurance and uh, well, some maintenance costs because well, being a three liter needs more than a two liter and the fuel consumption is a little bit higher. Even though BMW states that this car does around 40 miles per gallon in town, I managed to do around 28, which I uh, know it's not ideal, but well, and uh, outside on the highways i managed to do around 57 which it's quite close well to what they said overall the 5 series is a very sporty car it behaves very sporty and aggressive and well it's a bmw it should be like this and if it's not sporty and aggressive why would you buy a bmw 
well, are a couple of reasons why, but these are the most important reasons why. So yes, overall the 5 Series is a very good car that provides good comfort for all its occupants and will deliver the power gracefully to the wheels thanks to its 8-speed automatic gearbox. I'm quite impressed with the materials, with the quality of the materials and keep in mind that this car was made 11 years ago, it still looks modern today and the materials behaved very good in, uh, in this time frame that it passed. I have to tell you that everything seems modern even today and nothing looks bad. The plastic bottoms look quite good, there are no scratches, the leather looks very good and also this car has 87,000 miles. You can imagine that it's not new but it still looks quite quite good that was it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video press a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, a lot more cars are coming in the next episodes and uh, well i would like to see you there so till next time peace and blessings to all of you and i'll see you soon